Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir, and I'm happy to have me. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside former NBA star Tony Parker's recently listed Born Texas home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we like about this house. We like the mostly symmetrical curb appeal. We like Spanish style homes. Spanish style is our all time absolute favorite. Right now on the show, we usually go inside the home, but what I have to show you outside can't wait. Are you ready for it? I really don't think you are. You have no choice though, because I'm going to show it to you right now. This 50 acre home has an actual water park in the backyard. When I say water park, I'm not talking about what happens in your pants when Timothy Chalamet comes on screen. It's a legit water park. Six Flags is shaking right now. There are waterfalls. There's a little hot tub. Places to lump. There are cliff jumps like this one. And if you look back here, there's this long water slide. This one reminds me of the silver bullet at Bell's where you gotta cross your arms like this when you go down. Some of these slide holes even look so wet and fun that you'll wanna slide face first into them. There's a lazy river. There's even this thing that looks like a giant human chocolate fondue. I think you enter it through here. And then this happens. This place has tons of other amenities as well. There's sand volleyball. There's a tennis court. There's this tree. Damn, that's a nice tree. And there's even this covered loggia. Loggia is such a fun word. Say it with me. And honestly, I've got so many questions about this place. Like, how much does it cost to run a month? 50,000? 100,000? A million? It better not be a million. How much water is here? Do you have full-time lifeguards? Have you ever come out here alone and done the whole water park by yourself? What famous people have visited and do you have videos of them jumping off the cliff too? What questions do you have about it? Let us know in the comments. I guess we can go inside now. Let's proceed. Inside, we love this type of tile pattern. We love stone staircases. We love when a home has a combined cozy kitchen, eating area, and den. Most families will spend about 97% of their time in this area, so it's nice to have a good space if possible. We love the circle mirror in the den. There's never been a better time in history to be a circle mirror. We love this cutie little circle window. There's never been a better time in history to be a cutie little circle window. And we love that the TV is over here. Even though it's necessary to do sometimes, the TV should never go above the fireplace. The ideal viewing angle is at eye level, and putting your TV so high is bad for your neck. If you're building a new home and you're putting the TV above the fireplace, you're doing it wrong. In the main bedroom, we love that the mattress doesn't go all the way to the edge of the bed frame. I'm guessing they did this because they sometimes like to practice their cat-cow yoga position in the middle of the night. And having a solid surface like this is better for your hands than a mattress. In the main bedroom, we also love this chill nook. There are so many lump spots to choose from in here. One thing I like to do when looking at photos of a home is match up interior photos with the exterior. If you look at these windows, that looks like it's this room up here. In the main bathroom, we love this tub. Built-in tubs are better than standalone tubs because they have room for your cheese, wine, and snacks. If you thought the water park was cool, there are so many other amenities in this home too. There's a giant theater. There's a 6,000 square foot gym. There's even an arcade and a locker room. Having all this stuff in your home actually makes sense because there's not a lot to do in this part of Texas. Finally, we love the four car garage. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate that the upper window styles here don't match the lower windows. That's the type of thing that keeps me up at night. We hate this lonely chimney. Can we give it a friend? We hate having a fountain in the middle of the driveway. This looks cool, but it's in the way. And you'll probably back into it someday and you'll hate yourself for it. This property is 50 acres. Can't they just have a little fountain area? Some place away from it all? In the living room, we hate this extended part of the hearth. They could have done something up the entire wall that would have been nicer. And we hate this LUP. Lonely upright piano. We hate this office and this office. The listing brags about it having two work from home spaces. But this home is an amusement park and no one's getting any work done here. It's like bringing your workout close to Las Vegas, where the only working out you're going to be doing is trying to find a bathroom on the casino floor of the Aria. In the kitchen, we hate that the freezer and fridge are apart. These two are lovebirds and they always belong side by side next to each other. 
We hate that these two cabinets aren't very short king friendly. Even Tony's six foot two and he can barely reach these. We also hate these little cabinets. It's like my great grandma used to say, just because you have space for a cabinet, it doesn't mean you should make it a cabinet. In this bathroom, we hate that the toilet is in the middle of the room. We hate how uncomfortable this copper tub looks. We hate these old timey telephone looking faucets. Hello operator, I'd like to order one bath, please. And we hate this tile work on the wall. It looks like Shrek is trying to watch you bathe. In the main bedroom, we hate this chandelier. Why is there such a tiny light bulb in there? I have often found myself asking that same question when talking to an idiot. In this cozy nook, we hate that this blind is down. Why is it down, Tony? Does the sun come through in this spot in the morning? Is it broken? Does a bird keep flying into it? We need answers. We hate that the main closet feels like I'm in a Brooks Brothers. And we hate going to Brooks Brothers because the employees are always judging you in there. We hate these floor mats in the main bathroom. Did they get this three pack from Bed Bath & Beyond? Why are they all different sizes? There has to be a better solution than this. In the card room, we hate that the MCU is watching you play. How am I supposed to play Texas Hold'em with Thanos breathing down my neck? There's honestly a lot of clutter in this place, like you don't need all those jerseys. We hate this trophy room. Having a room named Trophy Room is too much pressure to perform. And who wants unnecessary pressure? Not me. We hate the sauce cellar vibe. Why do these rooms always have to feel so medieval? It's 2022, we can brighten it up a little bit. Outside, we hate this gutter, and this gutter, and this gutter. And finally, we hate the location of the water park. They should have just put a regular pool back here by the home and then like shifted the water park over just to make it like more of a fun destination instead of part of the home. This home ranked four and a half out of five on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show where we take a deeper dive into the stats. Give this a four and a half ranking instead of five for a few reasons. Overall, a pretty awesome home. The main home is nice. The 50 acre property is also nice but the location here in North San Antonio is not so nice. And I just feel like this place has a lot of overhead costs where if you really love water parks, you could just go to one instead of having to pay for one every month. The home is on a street called Rue Parker, which is really funny because Tony's French. I wish there was a photo of the tortoise enclosure and if I find one, I'll share it with you all because I'd love to see that. What did you all rank it? And what did you love and hate about it? As always, let us know in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. A special thank you to our Patreon iced coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I can be a winner and have a $5 iced coffee every day. So thank you. And a special shout out to our Patreon Plus producers. That's Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, Henry, Gretchen, Julie, Barghav, Ellen, Paul, Alyssa, Ann, Colin, Mike, Sarah, and Emmy. Thank you so much. And here are our amazing Patreon producers. Let's give them a giant group hug. See you all next episode.